I'm looking at your your hair. You you mm-hmm. you are you and I spoke offline. Um, you're Rastafarian now, correct? I am. You 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 came up a Christian Methodist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it something about the Rastafarian religion that helped at least bring you to this point? Like, how how do you make that transition in within the practices of a Rastafarian? Did it help you to come to this place where you don't even recognize that old you? Hundred percent. Um, I, I dabbled in a few other things before I. The reason why I found to be a, a rock, I was dabbling in other stuff of like the occult and witchcraft and stuff like that because it. I believe that's just who I was. I was a. It was like on the darker side, I guess. Um, so I was read up on and I practiced a lot of these things that I probably shouldn't have been messing with. Um, but it led me to what I believe now, uh, this like truth. I didn't ever want to be, you know, like, a a religious person or a spiritual person or a roster for that matter. It just kind of came to be messing with stuff that I believe was kind of dark and, it shed some light on things that I was like, well, if this is true, then this is true. The the, the other stuff is true too. Um, then I started studying up on uh, Hala Selassie and, and Bob Marley and why they were the way that they were or why Bob Marley thought the way that he thought. I didn't know <clears throat> that he was even a Rasta. Uh, you know, before that, I thought he just was a guy who made good love music, you know? Mm-hmm. feel good music um but then i started to i came across a book and from a book a documentary online then i start learning about who he was and i like this vibe i like who he was as a person um where he came from you know the poverty to be able to preach what he preaches and believe what he believes and he just seemed like he had no stress and i wanted to you know feel that way too of of just like, hey, well, the outside world doesn't have to affect how I feel emotionally or, you know, yeah, how I feel. And studying him and his practices and what he uh, believed in, it it resonated with me to a point to where it's like the most I've ever felt was more than like Christianity. I've, I've done Christianity, but not having, that's a tough one. I've always thought about that too, but it, it it resonated with me to, like, I believe it to my core, you know? I believe what I believe to my core of the way people should, not people, the way I should live my life um, to get to where I need to be. Uh, I believe that that's the path that, that I need um, just from a spiritual aspect to a physical aspect. The all practices, all the practices that go along with being a Rasta is, where I need to be, the from how you eat, how you grow your hair, abide by certain laws in the Bible. And if you don't abide by these laws in the Bible, these things will happen to you and your people. I believe these, these laws to be true. So basing my life around those laws as best as I can to my ability, I think it's in my best interest to continue on a good path in life. Um, yeah, that's just what I, I don't think it's for everybody. But yeah, I don't think it's for everybody, but it's it, it, it's for me. And I don't think that when anyone practices, it is wrong. Um, I think all roads eventually lead to Rome anyways. Um, it's just what I practice is for me. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's hard to describe. I don't know. It's almost like asking, why do people get into Christianity who weren't grown up that way, who aren't brought up that way? And the people who are brought up that way Usually it's because our parents, you know, took us to church and preached these things. Uh, I believe all those things too. I believe in, I read the Bible often. Um, it's one of the, I tried to, at one point I was reading like a, I try to get a chapter a day. Um, one of the practices of being a Rasta, always staying deep into the, the Bible, practicing the laws of the Nazarite. Um, you know, Samson was a Nazarite. John the Baptist, I believe, was a Nazarite. Uh, I follow those laws and to be a Nazarite is just to 
surrender all and have full dedication to the almighty. Um, you don't exist anymore. I've had my run-ins with my ego and it never was good. So to not have what I want, I never, whatever I want, it never turned out to be for the good. I, even with war, like I thought I wanted that too. I did, but wasn't necessarily once you get there, doesn't always turn out to be for the good, you know? So for once I figured I'd set my, what I want to the side and the back burner for a while and, and, and pursue things in a different light, you know, maybe the creator has something else in store for me. So I'll just live this path as best as I can and see where it, where it takes me. I've been in control or trying to be in control for a long time. And I don't know, I make a lot of bad decisions. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.